Hi guys, I'm, I'm going to be talking about uh, Vagrant today, and that's something, this is their website, vagrantup.com, and this is something I've been uh, learning how to use recently, and I got really excited about it, and when Tyler said there was going to be a talk about it, and he didn't follow through, I got really disappointed, so I said, I'll do it. So anyways, um, I've had a lot of experiences where I've been a project, and you know, you clone the repo, and, and you're like, oh, I want to get started, but you can't because you have to manually configure everything and uh, there might not be documentation and when you set up your development environment it, will, it might look completely different than someone else's development environment. That's caused a lot of confusion and frustration and mostly a lot of time loss. So someone named Mitchell uh, Hashimoto came up with this application called Vagrant to uh, resolve that. So. I have uh, the base Vagrant file. This is what it looks like when you just trip, do like Vagrant, Vagrant in it. All right, I'm not going to do it right now. But this is what it looks like. It just it's it's basically Ruby, and you describe what your machine looks like. Um, if you don't know what a uh, virtual box is, it's just a way to build virtual machines on your computer. And Vagrant is just a wrapper for it. So the, the base machine I have right here is just it just says okay uh, configure Ubuntu trusty 32-bit uh, and that's that's it. It has a lot of uh, documentation for you if you want to read it. So all you have to do to get started is just hit bigger and up, and it just it just goes. And I'm just gonna watch it build. And what's happening right now? What bigger and up did? I don't know. It's it's, it's magic. <laughs> but, the end you'll have. but it's it's importing the uh, base um, virtual machine and What's running the all the updates. It's for automating uh, how to, how your virtual environments are built, and so uh, you can use this to build your development environment. Some people use it to deploy to their production environment, mm -hmm. and so it's importing uh, your your keys and running all the updates. It does it automatically, and this is what you get. This is so. This is what the base. Um, VM looks like, and from here you would have to do all your manual configurations, but that's not the best way to use it. All right, so I'm just going to kill this. So basically, that's another computer right now that you have running on your computer. Yeah. All right. All right. So I have another uh, configuration. It's it's simply another Ubuntu machine. And all I say is, okay, install git and extract. Uh, last Saturday we had the uh, open source, uh, open hatch event, and some of the things you have to do is install git and extract, and then set up your uh, IRC channel. And so I had, I have this machine that's already set up to um, join the IRC, the IRC channel when you start it up, and it looks like. Like this, and get on the screen. All right, so it's like Ubuntu, and it says, "Okay, log in." And when it start XChat, it just connects automatically to the IRC channel. And so you can imagine, like, if there were people that were like, "Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of lost here." Like, you can give them this uh, Vagrant file, and then they can just hit Vagrant up and connect to the um, IRC channel and it, it has git already installed for you too. And then you would have like several people called Vagrant on the IRC channel. All right, That's so awesome. I'm going to kill this now. Okay, so um, the most, the coolest thing I, I like about Vagrant is that um, a lot of times you when you have a development environment, your production system in your development environment looks looks uh, completely different because you'll have like all your servers running on one machine on your on your laptop but that's not you don't you don't run your applications from your your laptop that's, that's not how it really is usually you have dedicated machines doing uh, certain functions for example I, I have here is a, a rails application and a MySQL server and they're just you just configure it here and I use um, a tool called Puppet to manage the configuration of uh, the machines. Uh, 
Puppet is a, um, used by a lot of companies to manage uh, a large scale of machines. So I have here like um, MySQL, Rails, Ruby, uh, users module. And when it when it's uh, when it's set up, I can hit it from my browser, and it's just simply a list of cars. So I have the Dodge Charger and DeLorean from Back to the Future. And uh, up here, I have I have my Rails console, and it has my Dodge Charger right here, my DeLorean listed, and then down here, I have my MySQL server, and it. It also has a car, so I know they're talking to each other. And and then this is what some of the output looks like. It can get kind of nasty. Um, but the point is, I don't have to open VirtualBox and go through new, name it something, configure all of these things manually. It just um, builds it right away for me. and. It makes it nice because anyone who wants to uh, start a project with me or collaborate with me, they just have to hit one command and then they're ready to go. And actually, maybe they can get some work done instead of trying to figure things out and losing time. So that's it. Awesome. Thank you.